uh, if you're a fiscal conservative and you want to provide a safety net, why wouldn't you be for something like a single payer uh, health care system? I think single payer health care system would be a disaster for the people who need health care the most. I think it would cause rationing, waiting lines. I think it would be a fiscal house of cards. It would help accelerate a nation, national debt crisis and hurt the economy. It would, single it, payer wouldn't, would, it, would, wouldn't it save a lot of money and cover no, everybody? Absolutely not. I, do, uh -huh. I totally fundamentally disagree with it. I believe you can have affordable access to health care for all Americans, including people with pre-existing conditions, without a government takeover of our health care sector. If we actually have government-run health care, what I think you'll have is government-managed and government-rationed health care. I think that would be a fiscal disaster. I think it would accelerate a debt crisis, which would slow our economy and take jobs and economic growth away from those people who need it the most, which are people who are out of work. It, it, isn't, doesn't Medicare have a much lower, um, you know, two or three percent overhead compared to the insurance companies? So which, I think I mean, insurance kind of company, an apples it, to oranges sorry, comparison. If you take a look at Medicare itself, Medicare is going bankrupt. Look, there are three facts. But that's, that's the health care system in general going bankrupt. There are three facts bankrupt. about Medicare that you simply can't dispute. 10,000 seniors are retiring every day with fewer workers going into the workforce to pay for them. Health care costs are skyrocketing at about four times the rate of inflation, which threatens Medicare's ability to give affordable care. And number three, the nonpartisan experts agree that Medicare is going bankrupt. So the Medicare status quo is bankruptcy. And that threatens the health care not only for current seniors, but obviously for future seniors. So I believe a patient centered health care system, reforms that put the patient in the center of the health care system, not the government, are the best for people who need health care and they're best for the economy, and that they're the best way to, to avert a debt crisis. But isn't the problem with health care fundamentally the corporate structure? I mean, your, your biggest funders are who's who? Uh, Northwestern Mutual, so, Aurora Healthcare, Albert Laboratories, Credit Suisse. I mean, the insurers and... Government-run health care doesn't work. Wherever we've seen government-run health care, it's failed. You, you think that people are worse off is, in France and Canada? I think we're worse off if we go with a government health care system that will cost us jobs, it will increase our deficit and our debt, and I do believe, and I've put ideas on the table that show we can get to a patient-centered health care system that helps create jobs, that helps get health care costs under control, and gives everybody affordable health care coverage for everyone, regardless of income or pre-existing conditions. You think, think people, poor people in Europe, you think poor people in Europe are worse off than poor people here? Newt's Congress is Thanks. Thanks.